Today's video focuses on tips and tricks to help you perfect your game and become a better Town Hall 9 attacker. I'm your host, Judo Sloth. Make sure to subscribe for all of my Clash of Clans content. We have a variety of different Hog Rider attacks for you today, breaking them down and providing advice on exactly what is happening in the background. First things first, with the Hog Riders, you need to set up a funnel to get in in there with your kill squad and take out some key objectives. Now, 99% of the time, that is going to be the enemy CC and the enemy queen. You guys know that I joined Artists of War on my Town Hall 8 account. You saw footage of that a couple of days ago, but we're hopefully going to continue bringing you more content from these, starting out with this Town Hall 9 Hog Rider video. So looking at the objectives we've taken out, that is the enemy queen in the CC, but we've also taken out a lot of defenses on that right hand side of the base, meaning that hog riders, a defense targeting troop, can literally be controlled through the base. So you can see how we have hog riders coming in from the west as well, and they're going to take out that section of defenses. They get a little bit hung up on the Tesla farm, but then they'll merge across with the other hog riders, and it does mean you can use your heal spells wisely. We all know, or you should all know, that heal spells are the best things to use with hog riders. They are super fast. They do a lot of damage. A rage, rage spell isn't really going to help them too much because they're just going to be out of there. You're missing out on that spell. You're far better off actually keeping their numbers up healing them up, they'll do more damage in a group than they would have if you rage them through. So that is attack number one. Let's break down attack number two and show you again lots of tips and tricks for hog riders. Anything I miss in this video, drop it down in the comments, guys. Let me know what your favorite attack strategy is at Town Hall 9 as well. I still think there's a lot of variety there. I still think it's a very exciting Town Hall level. Check out this attack, much less of a rule on the Hog Riders. So you're going to see a, a couple of different variations and it all depends on how much you want to get from your kill squad versus how little you want to get from your kill squad and how much of a role you need the hog riders to do. And that's obviously where needs the larger role you're going to commit more troops to. So in this one, we're actually going to take more of the base down initially. So we have two golems again alongside the wizards, which is going to create the funnel. But we also have healers on the queen. So we have a bit of a queen charge coming in behind the ballers. Now, the good thing about the golems is you can see once they've helped to create the funnel for the wizards, they then merge into the base when the jump spell goes down and that helps to protect the ballers. It's a little bit easier at Town Hall 9 than it ever was just because we can now get maxed level troops. Them new upgraded troops from Town Hall 12, you want to be protecting them bowlers. They're your main firepower coming through the base. But look at that queen walk right, right the way down that side because the air defense are not in that area. And we're really just able to continue spreading wizards as the golems continue to tank. Then the hog riders come in as needed. Air defense. Not really going to do too much to the bowlers, and we've got a lot of troops there. We're actually going to try and target the hog riders straight onto the cannon. So don't just spam them in at any old area. Think about what defenses you're most vulnerable at that point. As soon as the troops start coming within that range, hog riders come in. Now, I know there's only three hog riders in this attack, but I really wanted to show you it as an example. You don't have to always just take a low amount of hog riders. They might have had a more specific role, but think about the defenses that they are targeting on the back end. What kind of a role can they play? You might have seen Valkyrie attacks merging hog riders in with that kind of that Falcon method adapted for Town Hall 9. Here it is. Why is it a good base? I mean, if you can't see, guys, why it's a good base, think about what the Valkyries do. They target multiple buildings. They get into the middle of the buildings. Everything is so tight and compact. They are going to wreck this base. 
Again, a Queen Charge or a Queen Walk is fantastic at Town Hall 9. You don't have to worry about single Infernos taking down that Queen quickly. If you can get in there away from air defense, it is brilliant for taking out objectives. You can see in this one, we're already taking out that western side of the base, but it also is great for setting a funnel. You need to set a massive funnel for Valkyries. Because of their AI, because they don't quite target the front of a building, they go to the middle of it, which is often behind the initial one just create that extra funnel you can see he does that nicely in this attack with the king from this point there's no way for the valkyries to go they're going to go straight into that base charge their way forward through the walls the queen is there to help take out the cc she is well protected at this point we don't need to use her ability the valkyries charge on forward most of the time you will take two rage spells two heal spells that's a general rule of thumb for the valkyries they can be a little bit spontaneous. You can see they start to merge up kind of directly north. When they're tanking defenses, when the def defenses are shooting at the Valkyries, that is prime time to bring your Hog Riders in. You can see how they came in and took down the defenses in that area before the Valkyries even got there. They get a little bit unfortunate with the giant bombs on the outside, but we had a skeleton spell to try and distract them defenses. However, even if you can sometimes get tricked like that, if your plan is solid, you will still get that base. Look at this. Queen still has the ability. Valkyries have obviously done such an effective job within the base itself that they're going to come through and tear the rest of them defenses down. Now, let's move on to more of your traditional Hog Rider attacks, what we used to see. It's still very viable. This is base number 10 and 11. Six back for Judgmental on this one. Now, I know the base design's not fantastic. Um, it's kind of that old school meta, isn't it? But a couple of key points. Builder huts on the outside, don't forget about them. You do not want hog riders having to track around every single point of the base. A couple of archers in this one gets the job done. Standard funnel, golem on one side, golem on the other. Wizards around, creates the funnel. Once it is done, bowlers come in with the heroes. Again, look at what we're taking out, CC, and the uh, the enemy queen now again it's kind of that standard thing the old school meta like i said how we're just taking out kind of that section of the base the hog riders circle around the back end now so you can see how from the east side of the base where the hog riders are brought in they're going to merge down and around you have to think about the odd point defense on the outside that's when you'll see people trickling in other hog riders why are they doing that it's so that your hog riders aren't doing this. They merge together. That's when your heal spells are effective. Look at this. Little pack of hog riders come in for these couple of defenses. They kind of go over there anyway, guys. But it it, it shows the point to you. Try and not fit, allow the hog riders to just go all over the place. If there's only one defense on the perimeter, send a separate little group. They'll then merge in with the hog riders where your heal will then be used. You don't want to be using heals all over the place. You want to really use them wisely in the middle of the base where you have most of your hog riders. You will see even swagged one in this attack. And we always mention clean up troops with hog rider attacks. Make sure you are indeed popping them in when necessary as soon as the hog riders have taken down an area of the base. Here it is again. Another example. Standard hog rider stuff. You know... Again, make sure to drop any comments that I've missed, but I've tried to pick a couple of different attacks using the Hog Riders and showing you tips on what you want to do to get them to work. So instead of bringing the Golem straight in here, who would be taking damage, we're just going to wait a couple of seconds while the Wizards start to take out them buildings. That's another little point. If you can start to do damage on the buildings, don't waste damage on your Golem. But there's, it's, it's only rare occasions you can do this, guys. But just be aware of it. Something for your back pocket in case you need it. Again, funnel is created nice and wide here. Army camps are fantastic funneling buildings because they're easy to take down in the huge. Bowlers come in. There is that jump spell providing access to the CC. The Queen's already down. But again, probably the most important thing alongside them objectives is the pathing that we're creating for the Hog Riders. You'll hear people talking about pathing all the time. It's basically the route that they will take. You can see as we snipe in a couple here to try and help protect this Bowler and Wizard, doesn't quite work out, but the, the idea was there. What we're doing is 
sniping off defenses once they get targeted from the troops in the middle. So once your, your kill squad reaches the middle, Defenses on the perimeter, if you can imagine, are shooting in towards them troops. Hog Riders can come in and then snipe off them defenses. And again, think about the pathing. Think about allowing the Hog Riders to merge together. Doesn't quite get that mortar down quick enough. But again, that's why he was bringing in a Hog Rider. Also check for any giant bombs just in case. And the heal spells are used where needed. So another one might be right smack on this area. There it goes. Two Archer Towers a cannon, a tesla and more importantly the wizard tower and again you see this with lava loon style attacks but one hog rider coming into the back end is just enough in this case actually to take it down but it tanks for that main group as well remember splash damage if you can transfer that damage onto a single troop instead of a pack of five or six hog riders clearly that is more beneficial so that is going to wrap it up for this video guys i hope that helped you with hog rider attacks at town hall 9 one of the best attack strategies there is for town hall 9 but right now there is fantastic variety i've been your host judo sloth and until next time peace out